In today's video, we are going to see how to flush the cooling system in Skoda Fabia. Before we start this video, we should make sure that the coolant reservoir lid is open so that it will be easier for the coolant to drain out from the drain plug. Now for removing this, you have to just remove this like this and remove. Let us take some of this coolant and see how the color is. Now we have closed the drain plug for the coolant and you can see the old coolant is collected over here and the color of this coolant says that it was really bad coolant which was there inside the car so it was a good thing to change it. Now that we have removed all the coolant it's time to flush the cooling system of this car using a radiator flush or with some good water or distilled water. So we are going to pour some water in the coolant reservoir. And make sure that the water comes till your mid level and it's okay to pour the water till maximum because when you are going to pour the coolant there will be air bubbles inside the system so it will take time to take in all the 5 liters of water. Okay, now to see the temperature gauge, my car does not have one, so you can see over here, there is no temperature gauge indication over here, so we can use the OBD reader and read it through the OBD. Now let us connect this OBD reader to the car like this. Find the OBD port and just connect it in like this. You can see that the OBD reader is on now. Now you have to start the car, Put the car down. and make sure you go into the readings we have kept the obd reader over here and we can see the coolant temperature over here which is around 48 degrees celsius now we have been pouring coolant inside the system and making sure that all the air goes out as you can see my dad is priming the pipe so that there is no air inside the system after your car is switched on, it's good to put your, not your air conditioner, but your heater. And if heat is coming out of this heater, that means that your car is getting cooled, heated properly. Now let's move the car. Since we can't go for a drive during this quality, let's just put the car in second hand. And just come out of the car. You can see the wheels are moving and that beep is nothing but the doors are open that's why the beep is coming you can see the car is doing now 17 kilometers per hour and it's in second gear it has already been about one hour since we started the vehicle and we saw that the vehicle is not overheating so that's a good sign that means that there is no air in your system Now this is the first flush used. Now what we are doing here is we are actually measuring the coolant which has to be added in the car. So we are taking the concentrate and for this car we need a 1 to 2 ratio mix. So I have bought 3 liters of coolant and we need 6 liters of coolant in the car. Now that we have poured coolant over here, let's go and start the vehicle and let's allow the air to come out of the system. As 
you can see I have started the vehicle now the next step is to switch on the heater make sure that the AC is not on and the heater is towards this place so you can see in the OBD scanner I have already connected it Currently the temperature what I am getting is 53 degrees Celsius. You can see over here. If your heater core starts blowing hot air that means that your coolant is getting circulated properly. This is the color of the coolant now you can see. Finally after pouring everything we can see that how clear and how good the new coolant is. Now let us close the lid of the coolant reservoir and we will have a close monitor of this coolant so we have to see whether the coolant is going down if the coolant is going down use the pre-mixed coolant, coolant and distilled water and pour it in this now since all this is done it's time to close the bonnet and go for a ride So now we can see that we have completed the coolant flush in our car. So we have taken a total of 5 samples over here. The one towards the left is the original coolant in the car before flushing. And the one towards the right is the coolant which is there in the car after flushing. And the glasses in between are the coolant which was present during multiple flush. You can see that there is a gradual change in color. Now after pouring the coolant in these glasses we can clearly see the difference between the original coolant and the final coolant present with the help of this detergent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you and see you guys next time.